last episode, we kind of started a fire. But in today's episode, I'm pretty sure the children are going to be aging up tomorrow because I got a notification saying it's almost their birthday. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and age them up tomorrow. We've also got some plates here, so let me go ahead and clean that and also hit play. Wicked Wims is always sad at this point. Now, the kids really are tired, and but I mean, it's only 9pm, but I am getting them to do their like homework and all that. Obviously, we have our little A student, Neve, who is doing her extra credit work. I'm so proud of her for getting an A. Noah, on the other hand, did not get an A, but I think he's pretty close to one. I'm also gonna go ahead and let them just write in their journal a little bit. Uh, are we... Why is he crying? Oh no, that's actually sad. A sad day. Noah just read for a sad entry in his journal. That was an awful day. Oh no, don't be sad. Oh no, I feel mean. We've also got Neve, who is still feeling really sick. So I might keep her off. As you know, I don't know. Maybe we'll keep her off school. We'll see how she feels in the morning. I'm also just letting him. Okay, she's really she's reliving memories, really sad memories. Okay, they're both living sad that both reading through sad memories. Obviously, the parents have gone to bed. Not very responsible, but the children's okay. Spencer's also going to be aging up. In two days, Fimble is very hungry. Without food, this rodent may not make it much longer. Okay, I'm gonna get Cecilia to wake up and come and feed Fimble, please, because he he needs some food and he also needs some um, um attention. So why don't you go ahead and just play with him a bunch of times? Noah, are you almost done writing for your memories? I make it. Oh, he's angry. Okay, I'm writing them. I'm making them like write through their books because it helps with their emotional control. Obviously, he really needs help with his empathy and his conflict revolution. But he's he's okay with like manners and responsibility. Neve is good with manners and responsibility. Her emotional control is not that good, but her empathy and conflict resolution is better than Noah's. Noah's going to the toilet and then he's going to go to sleep. Neve is also going to go to the toilet and go to sleep after she's finished writing. She's still feeling really sick. Nia's brain feels about three and a half sizes too large for the headspace. Oh, I feel so bad. I'm sorry, Neve. But you're at least you're getting like good emotional control. Obviously, Spencer's here. She's fine. I still need to change her name. I keep forgetting. I'm gonna do it, guys. Cecilia is now feeling pretty playful with Thimble. I wonder if this lady need any food. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and fill lady's bowl and call her to eat. And then I'm also gonna give lady another bath. I'm I think I'm gonna have to like delete this bush because she keeps going going in there and it's almost it's really annoying at this point okay noah has gone ahead and headed to bed i think what was wrong is the music was playing so that's why he couldn't get to sleep neva is also on her way to bed um i love her bedroom i think it's so cute obviously uh she's gonna turn into a preteen because i have the preteen mod so i feel like her room is gonna change a little bit you know it's not gonna be so childy and pink i mean we'll see how vibe We'll see how she feels when she gets older, but I definitely think it's gonna change and obviously Spencer's is gonna change this episode or next episode because she's gonna be a child So she's she's not gonna be much in as she she might maybe I'll just have to change her bed But she won't like need this stuff anymore I think with Neve, I'm either gonna have to give her a single bed or a double bed Obviously she has the smallest room because you know she wasn't planned, but I think she'll be okay Okay, I think it's enough room for a child. Obviously, uh, the parents have the biggest room. And then I think Neve and then Noah and then Spencer. And Lady already finished her food. But let's go ahead and give the dog a bath. And then we'll go ahead and go to sleep. Let me know in the comments if you guys have played with my house yet. If you've downloaded it. If you don't know um, what it's called, it is right here. It is called the OG house. Obviously ba made by me. Four bedrooms, three baths bathrooms i didn't really write the description it's kind of uh did it itself obviously i use packs so if you don't if 
uh, you don't have any of the packs I use, then go ahead and decorate it and let me know, and then take a picture and send me it on Instagram so I can see. We've like never used our pool, to be honest. I mean, it is spring. I think we'll definitely like start to use it when summer comes, which I think is tomorrow, actually. Okay, last day was like awful for everyone, but that's fine. Cecilia has work in two days. Ruby has work in eight hours. So we could get another promotion today. I mean, I think it's like, you know, asking too much. But who knows? Maybe we might. But if not today, then definitely tomorrow. Ruby has gone ahead and woken up worried because of the fire. As we know, Ruby literally has a fear of fire. So she absolutely hated. We're a baby expert. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's actually so cute. I didn't know that existed. Does Cecilia? Okay, Cecilia does not have that. I think Cecilia is a lot different as a parent. I think she liked the idea of kids, but she was never like maternal in the long run as ruby didn't really want kids but she was definitely maternal like after she had them if you remember the first she put up when she uh, Cecilia got pregnant. I'm also gonna go ahead and let her tuck in all the kids. Just because, you know, the twins are gonna be aging up today. So let's also, you know what, tuck them in and then make them a birthday cake, I guess. I think instead of sharing a cake, I'm gonna give them different cakes. So I'm gonna give Neve the strawberry cake. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make Noah a separate cake. And I might give him the blue. Oh, it's over between the hamburger cake, but we had the hamburger cake when they were infants i think so let's go ahead and give him the uh blue cake there we go okay so she's tucking in her children being like oh my gosh family time they're gonna be aging up today that's so sad i would actually be really sad oh she loves her children even though she kicked up a storm at the very beginning cecilia is still asleep what is the do Oh my god, okay, well. Now I gotta go ahead. Oh! <laughs> Why does my Sims keep doing this? I literally moved the columns mod. I don't know what this. I don't know what is wrong with this computer. It's really annoying me. I'm not even going to attempt to go into build mode because this game takes forever to load. So now I've got to go ahead and make Ruby cook the cakes again because build mode just loves to wind me up. Oh, no, I kind of want to try again, but I don't want to. I'm just going to wait until I figure out why on earth it happened. So let's go ahead and cook the twins the cakes. My game is being really slow. It's got to be a mod. Let me know in the comments if you know what mod it is. Because I've, like, Googled it way too many times, and it just does not tell me. Now, obviously, Ruby is very worried because... Okay, right, there we go. we got one cake here. So let's go ahead and put candles on that one afterwards. We're very worried about the fire because we're cooking, and we're like, oh, my God what if i start a fire but i don't think we're going to i don't know why we're cooking the cake right next to the other cake but sure that oh it's because we, we put the birthday candles on okay that's fine well let's go ahead and put the cake uh here for little neve to blow out when she gets up look at the pro cooking spinning it on her head oh it's talk like a pirate day yay well i think spencer would love that but i think the kids might be a little bit too old when we age them up okay let's not burn the house down let's not burn the house down let's not burn the house down please okie dokie let's go ahead and put candles on this cake too okie dokie neve noah it's time to wake up and blow out the candles let's also go ahead and make sure cecilia sits here i'm gonna get ruby to sit here and neve might not be able to come but I'm, I'm gonna try i'm gonna try and make her come here they're all coming down there's an onion bagel on the table ruby sit down sit we don't care about the kids we're literally watching our other kids literally age up okay neve's gone to her lovely little place but there they are blowing out the candles ladies I, I need to delete that bush but i'm kind of scared okay welcome neve kangaroo to being pre-teens i love that okay so there we go she's turning into a pre-teen and i guess oh she got sim simology she got another trait okay well we're gonna go ahead and randomize it she's independent you know what that makes sense and for her teenhood i mean she was pretty academic to be honest with her skills so i think i'm gonna go ahead and give her the 
academic trait i think she's gonna be really academic okay that's how she looks <gasps> interesting okay now it's noah's turn is noah going to his lovely corner probably let's see how noah aged up Oh, God, is my sim just bugged? Okay, no. Right, so Noah has aged up with bilingual. Okay, no, that doesn't make sense. Let's go ahead and re uh, do that again. Overachiever. Okay, I can kind of see that. And I think Noah, I, I'm going to say, well, I didn't, he was pretty good at like motor. So I'm going to go ahead and like make him a, a bodybuilder. I think he's going to be pretty athletic. And that is how he aged up. Oh, wow. Let's go ahead and see how they look properly in Cass. Okay, here is how Noah decided to age up. His outfit's not terrible, but obviously. Obviously, I'm going to change it. And then here is Neve. She is a little bit taller than Noah. I think she looks so adorable. So let's go ahead, put some CC on them and see how they turn out. I can take it, guys. So this is how Noah turned out. As you can see, he aged up with a little bit of muscle. I think he looks really handsome. Here's his everyday, his formal, his athletic. I obviously kept his pajamas for his sleepwear, his party wear, his swimwear, his hot weather wear, and his cold wear one and cold wear two two and then we have little neve this is how neve turned out i think she looks gorgeous i think she looks a lot like cecilia so here's her everyday formal her athletic her sleep her party her swim her hot weather wear her cold wear one and her cold wear two now remember they're only like preteens which means they're like about i don't know 13 ish so they're not gonna be like too grown up just yet but i'll make them grown up during the time they are teenagers and then i just gave ruby a little bit of an updated appearance i made them look a little bit older so i put like a little dent here so here's ruby's new outfit for now i also made her hair go dark again obviously she doesn't really dye as much considering she's got kids and then i also gave cecilia a little bit of an update i gave her some lines i feel like she's always frowning so she's got those lines there and i gave her a little bit of an updated look too right everyone is still in their pajamas noah is here he's happy he's eating his onion bagel neve is upstairs she is doing a judge decorator I, I don't know what that means is she judging the oh she hates the way her bedroom looks already i'm quite scared to go into build mode okay phew it finally works so because she's judging her like how her bedroom's looking i think i'm gonna update it a little bit obviously she's getting a little bit older so she's not gonna want this like kitty vibe anymore i think i'm gonna keep her duvet the same for now i don't think it's like terrible but i think she's definitely gonna start to get rid of some of the kids bits so like these two fairy things here she's not oh wait i just deleted a whole wall these two fairy things i don't think she's gonna want these lamps anymore nor these like little curtain things so it gives her room a little bit more light instead i think she's going to want more grown-up lamps so let's see if we can find any now i obviously love this and you know i think i'm gonna put this in her room because it's like one of those really cool led things and obviously i can put custom content in this build now because i mean it's my house and i'm not uploading it to gallery but i made sure it was like no cc for you guys so you could download it and play with it i don't know what kind of light she would like she hasn't like really told me her style i think i might just go for these like pinky things i have a feeling she likes the color pink and i think everything else seems okay for now she's going in a room and she's very she's judging everything but now she's gone downstairs to go and get some cake so i think i want ruby to spend a whole bunch of time with spencer today let's like teach her to talk because obviously she's gonna be aging up very soon everyone prefers a strawberry cake over blue confetti so i'm just gonna put that in there for now and maybe we can use it for spencer's birthday which is tomorrow 
tomorrow. So I only aged up the twins a little bit quicker just because I wanted to see how they looked. She is feeling stressed because she thinks she's got hideous decor in her room. Congrats on that big promotion. You deserve it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Daisy. I don't know who Daisy is, but I want to see. So she's a C student. And that's Oh, they're already arguing. I mean, that's honestly not fair, but why don't you go ahead and do your homework and rant about your stress? And he... Oh, no, it's feeling very insecure. Why don't you go ahead and also start to do your homework, please? Because, you know, you're going to school. Not tomorrow, but the next day. So you need to get cracker-lacking with that. Ru I said to teach her to talk, and Ruby said, nah, I'm eating cake. So I guess I'm going to get Cecilia to teach Spencer to um, talk. Let's teach her to talk a little bit. Let's sit down and teach her to talk. Neve has identified identified the guppy a new type of fit where is neve oh okay is this from her homework i think this is like from her homework i got really confused neve has been fined in advance with power cons uh -huh. excuse me excuse me i mean they're preteen so i'm not gonna do it yet but i also want them to try and find some like jobs i think that would be very good for them i hate how my sims just don't know how to um clean up after themselves what did she get so she got high self-esteem is that what she got she got oh my gosh so she was given the high self-esteem trait and so was noah so that's pretty good they both have high esteem but i want to keep your character values pretty good so ruby's kind of staring at herself right now why don't you go ahead and clean no polish no why don't you swab the deck there you go swab the deck Okay, I think Cecilia gave up pretty quick trying to teach Spencer to talk. I think Spencer, you know, she's just, she's her own character. I mean, she did get the happy, the top-notch infant, which I think is good. Maybe Ruby should come and try and teach her instead. Uh, let's go ahead and hug her lovingly. And, oh my god, look how beautiful, look how cute she is. She's such a happy little child. Why don't you go ahead and teach some basic needs? Just teach her a whole bunch of stuff because she's gonna be aging up tomorrow. And she's gonna be a child and not this cute little toddler anymore okay neve's homework is done for the day pretty impressed with that she's feeling tearful no attention left neve why don't you go ahead and write write down write down she's acquired the skill oh we're off to work oh well have a have a good day at work i guess i guess you're not doing all that stuff with neve okay hopefully you get a promotion no one needs to do his homework please no is refusing to do his homework there we go i'm gonna get like cecilia to just uh parent them a bit maybe do the pirate of the day thing i guess it's, i mean it's a bit boring for them now but lecture about responsibilities no why don't i mean just do some like parenting cecilia if you wanted to be a mother why don't you encourage her writing in her journal writing down her feelings instead of expressing them to everyone and then give the woohoo talk she's only a child why don't you go ahead and apologize to her as well because she's got a grudge against you you want to mentor a child's homework okay sure if you would like to do that i will let you do that I don't know when Noah's gone. T today's uh, mail has been delivered. Okay, Ruby's feeling really stressed for some reason, but Cecilia, go ahead and get the mail. Okay, what? I thought I saw bills for a minute. Okay, I'm also, while I'm here, I'm just gonna get rid of this bush because it is way too annoying. Oh, <gasps> Lady got us a little present. Oh, that's so cute. Lady got us a little present. How how thought pro provoking Neve seemed to enjoy that conversation with Cecilia especially when you explore more serious thought provoking topics a good conversation she likes deep okay Neve likes deep thought sure if that's what you like I don't know Ruby's still feeling worried about this fire and now she's she's like there's too many sims in the house and now she's like needs to escape okay Sh um Neve and Cecilia should be jokes us okay so they're getting they're getting closer as they're getting older which I quite like because before they weren't as close but now I think since Cecilia apologized. The pretty close Cecilia needs to get the mail. Thank you. When searching her Instagram, Ruby found the perfect picture to use Centipede uh, as her blog. Uh, let's ask for permission and not just use it. We got a performance game medium. The artist loved Ruby's blog and is happy to let her use her image as long as they're given credits. Okay. We're starting our element collection. She gathered everything. So what did Lady actually give us? <gasps> oh, she gave us a little, a little uh, element. That's so cute. Let's go ahead and put 
put that in our room somewhere. <gasps> Look, our little dog gave us this. I love that so much. Why don't you also go ahead and make like a, a, a pink friendship bracelet? Ruby, so I think Ruby's on the track to get a promotion, which I think is good. Celia, why don't you go ahead and research? Noah has completed his homework, which is good because he struggles to complete it. Why don't you guys go and do some extra credit homework though and sell your, um, actually no, let's not sell it. Let's keep it. I think it's gonna be cute. Okay, so, um, Spencer's just playing. Why don't you go ahead and, like, no, let's not rename Thimble. I was gonna say you could just say hello to Thimble. But she's off. She's off to go play in a trash. Let's not do that. Why don't you go ahead and play with your dolls and talk to your teddy and just don't talk to your giraffe. Okay, so Neve has required the hand in a skill and she's now level two. Okay, well, that's cute. You have a little friendship bracelet, which I love. Did you go? Oh, okay, you're doing your homework now, which is pretty good. Noah is also doing his homework without arguing with me, which is pretty good. We are feeling pretty good because she believes in herself. Cecilia is watching her after uh, researching about her medical things. And we also got some vegetables. So, you know what, Cecilia? I'm going to let you open the seed packet and then whatever it is i'm gonna let you plant them i'm gonna i'm gonna let you do some gardening so then why don't we go ahead and also oh god not mushrooms really why am out of everything why mushrooms but why don't you go ahead and plant these why don't you go and do some gardening i feel like that would be good for your mental health okay little neve is feeling a bit hungry so i'm gonna go ahead and get her to cook some grub because it's always good to like learn to cook early so why don't you go ahead and try and cook a salad noah did his extra credit homework and he's he's in the rage again the responsibility tray oh my god i love that why don't you also go ahead and brush your teeth and then you know what i'll let you like go play some games for a bit why don't you go ahead and play blick block and also well you, you kind of got a fish that just kind of stays in your room and you don't do much with it but then why don't you go ahead and play multiple play game with this guy i guess riku you kind of need friends to be honest Okay, here's Neve trying to cook. Noah is there playing. Spencer is also here playing. Ruby's at work. Cecilia's outside talking to plants. Okay. Oh, we're back. We're putting earwax in our food. How lovely. I'm joking. It's not lovely. It's actually pretty disgusting. We also want to go ahead and have a quick meal. No. But you want to become enemies with Riku? You want to listen to world music and you want to eat, I'm presuming. Why do you want to become enemies with Riku? Stop putting your finger in your ear, Neve. That's quite gross, literally. I guess we should go ahead and give this to Spencer now, considering she doesn't like... Oh, she's gone to go toilet. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, go to the toilet. Go, go potty. Go to potty instead of playing with this butterfly that your sister just gave you. <gasps> Lifestyle. Ruby has unlocked the workaholic. We did not get promoted. Uh, people are getting ad adopted. Okay, I don't, I don't care. Uh, Noah's got a reached gaming level two. Well, since Ruby's here, why don't you go ahead and um, go ahead and take like a jog with Lady? Because you're, you're very tense. And I feel like, oh my God, it's almost Spencer's birthday. Great. I feel like going on a jog with Lady will clear your mind just just a tad. Cecilia is still talking to her plants. <laughs> okay. Um, Spencer has successfully made a really disgusting salad, but I guess she liked it. No, she absolutely hated it. She's feeling good because she's learning from her mistakes, which I encourage and love. Um, why don't you go ahead and write in your journal a little bit more because it's good for you. Okay, guys, I think I'm gonna end it here. I think today was pretty good. The twins aged up. Next episode, Spencer is 100% going to um, age up too. So we're gonna see how she looks as a child, even though we kind of saw how she looks as a child. We're gonna pretend we don't and just say we're gonna see how she looks as a child. <sighs> Let me know in the comments if you are if you are enjoying the series at the moment and I will see you next time. Bye guys.